Hi, and welcome to section 1.2, how business activities change the accounting equation. Just a little review. Yesterday in class, we learned about the accounting equation. Assets equal liabilities plus owner's equities. We also learned that on this equation, we have a left side. We also have a right side. And the equation must remain in balance at all times. In other words, anything that we do to adjust the left side must also balance the right side. And anything that we do on the right side must also balance what's on the left side. So it must always be equal. Today in class, we talked about different types of accounts and their account titles. The different types of accounts we've discussed are assets, liabilities, and owner's equities. Now within each type of account, there is account titles, the classifications. We have cash, supplies, and prepaid insurance, all of which are considered assets. We have accounts payable, which is considered a liability, and we have capital, which is considered an owner's equity. Now, today we're going to be presented with several different accounting transactions for the first time. So it's important to know that as you look at a transaction, make sure you read it thoroughly. Identify which accounts are affected in the transaction and how they are affected. In other words, are they increased? Are they decreased? And lastly, classify the accounts as either an asset, a liability, or an owner's equity. This way we know if it belongs on the left side of the equation, if it's an asset, or the right side of the accounting equation, if it's a liability or an owner's equity. Now, in the work together, which the instructions are found in your textbook on page 13, it tells us that for each transaction to place a plus symbol in the appropriate column if the classification is increased, or a minus in the appropriate column if the classification decreases. So I would ask that you look at your textbook on page 13, for we're about to look at a total of four separate transactions. First, the transaction says that we bought supplies on account. Bought supplies on account. Okay? So we have to think about which two types of account titles are in this transaction. Well, we know that supplies is an account title, and we also know that accounts payable is an account title. So right away, those are the two accounts that will be affected. But are they going to increase or decrease? Well, bought supplies means that we're increasing our supplies. We're adding to our cabinet or our shelves of supplies. And then it tells us that we're buying it on account. What that means is we're buying the supplies today. We're going to take it home with us to our business, but we're going to pay for it later. So whenever we owe something to somebody, it's considered a liability and we are increasing how much we owe when we buy something on account. We have to pay them back later. So in this situation, our asset increased because we bought supplies, and our liability increased because we increased how much we now owe to the store in this example. So on the left side, we had an increase, and on the right side, we have an increase. That means the account equation is still in balance. Something affected the left and the right of the same amount. Transaction two says that we received cash from the owner as an investment. So we have to think, receive cash from the owner as an investment. Which two account titles are within this transaction? If you look at it, you can see there is cash. I also see the word owner. Okay, well cash is an asset. And owner, that kind of sounds like owner's equity. So, what? how is it affected, though? Received cash. Receiving cash means my cash is going up. I'm getting more cash. From the owner as an investment. So the owner is placing more interest, in other words, stake into the company. So the owner's equity, if they're putting more money in, should increase owner's equity. So in that transaction... Our cash, which is an asset, increased, and the amount of owner's equity, rights to our business, also increased. Assets is on the left, owner's equity is on the right, both increased. Our transactions, and our equation, our accounting equation is in balance. 
In the next transaction, number three, it tells us that we paid cash for insurance. Okay, well, cash is an asset. Insurance is also an asset. Interesting that this will affect only one side of the accounting equation, cash and insurance. Okay, so if we are paying cash, that sounds like a decrease to cash. I'm giving cash up. But I'm also buying something in place of that. I'm buying insurance. So cash is going up. I'm sorry, cash is going down because we are paying cash, but then our insurance is going up because we're buying it. So notice in this transaction, only the left side of the equation was affected, of the account equation. Our assets increased because our supplies went up, but then we lost cash, so that went down. So when something goes up and down, increase and decrease, on the same side of the account equation, in this case, only the left side was affected with the same amount, it kind of cancels itself out. So all in all, the account equation is still in balance because it was increased and decreased by the same exact amount on the same side. Now in our fourth transaction, it tells us that we paid cash on account. So what two accounts are there? Cash and on account. Remember when we see the words on account, it tells us that we're going to buy it now but pay for it later. So paying cash sounds like a decrease to cash. And on account means that we're trying to decrease our liability. So paying cash on account tells me we're paying off our bill. So that's a decrease to cash if we're paying cash. It's also a decrease to our liability because now we're paying off what we owe. Back in transaction one, we bought supplies on account. Sounds like we're paying off that amount. So paid cash means that cash is going down as an asset, but also we're decreasing how much we owe, so our liability goes down. So notice the left side decreased and the right side decreased by the same amount. So our accounting equation is still in balance. And that is our goal, to keep it in balance at all times. Okay, now I'm going to ask that you turn to the 1-2 application problem. It's a little bit more detailed and it involves numbers instead of just pluses and minuses to give you a little bit more realistic approach. Okay, this is the 1-2 application problem. Again, if you notice the very, very top, we still have the accounting equation, assets equal liabilities plus owner's equities. There is a dark solid line going right down the middle of our page here. It kind of separates the left from the right side. And also, notice the different account titles. We see that cash supplies, and prepaid insurance, all of those fall on the asset side. Accounts payable, which are, there are two of them for two different companies, both accounts payable accounts are listed as liabilities, and the capital account, which is the owner, is listed as an owner's equity account. So they are nice enough to have labeled it and placed them in the correct locations for us. Okay. Now, we're only going to go through some of the transactions because I would like you to work on some of these by yourself, but I do want to give you a nice head start so that you kind of get a feel for what you need to do. So, looking in your textbook on page 20, the, actual, the transactions are on page 20, the instructions are on page 19, but if you look at the transactions on page 20, we're going to start with transaction number one. It tells us that transaction one we received cash from the owner as an investment of $3,000. So received cash from the owner as an investment of $3,000. So let's think about what two accounts fall into this transaction. I see the word cash. I also see the word owner. Okay. So if you look up at the top of your screen there, cash is an asset. And owner, which is Calvin Parrish, he's, that falls under owner's equity. So right away, we have two accounts that have been identified in that transaction. So received cash. Received cash sounds like an increase to cash. And the owner is making an investment into his own business, so he's therefore increasing his owner's equity of $3,000. So this example is already done for us. You can see that cash increased by $3,000 on the left, and 
the capital account, which is owner's equity, also increased by $3,000. Okay, so look at where it says line two. We need to update the balances. So far, we only have a balance for two account titles, cash and capital. So on the second row down, where it says number two there, we have to first update our balance. So we have $3,000 of cash. Everything else, nothing's there yet. So those balances are all zeros. But all the way in the right for capital, we have to show that balance, which is 3000 that we just updated. Okay? So that belongs on the top portion of those boxes. On the bottom portion of the boxes, that is where we're going to show the account activity for transaction number two. So when we look at transaction number two in your textbook on page 20, it says that we're going to pay cash for insurance for $1,600. Okay, so let's think about what kind of accounts are affected here. I see cash because we paid cash. I see prepaid insurance because we bought insurance. Both of those are assets. So it looks like we're only going to be affecting the left side of the equation. But how? Well, paying cash, that's a decrease to cash. Buying supplies, that's an increase to supply. So it looks like we're going to have a decrease and an increase on the same side for the same amount. And that's okay. So we can see that our cash has decreased by $1,600 because we just paid cash. But notice that our prepaid insurance also on the same side has increased by $1,600. Remember, you can have an increase and a decrease on the same side of the equation as long as it keeps the equation in balance. And in this case, it does. It kind of cancels each other out because we had an increase and a decrease by the same amount of money. So on row number three, now we have to update our balances. So cash, how much cash do we have now? We had 3,000, but we just decreased it by 1,600. So now our cash is dropped to $1,400. Supplies is still the same, nothing happened there. But insurance, we used to have nothing, but now we have $1,600 of it. So our insurance is now 1,600. Everything else has remained zeros for accounts payables. And our capital, nothing changed, but we still have to show what that balance is. And that was a $3,000 balance. So we just have to make sure we're keeping that in mind and maintaining that. Okay, now we're going to go to transaction number three. It tells us that we bought supplies on account from Five Star Supply Company for $700. Bought supplies on account. So the two account titles I see in that transaction are supplies, and it says on account. It also gives me the name of the business, Five Star Supply Company. So we have supplies, which we have as an asset, and accounts payable, which we have as a liability. So left side and right side. So what's going to happen? Bought supplies sounds like an increase to supplies, and our accounts payable. It says on account, so that sounds like we're going to have to owe them money later. Because we're getting supplies now, we're going to pay for it later. That's what on account means. Buying it now, paying for it later. So, let's look at our supplies. Our supplies is increasing by 700 because we're buying supplies. But we're going to pay for it later, so now we have to show an increase in what we owe. So accounts payable is going to also increase by $700 because we have to pay that later. Okay. So we have two increases, and they happen to occur on the left side, and the other one occurs on the right side. So our accounting equation is still in balance. Everything equals out. So now on line four, we're going to have to go ahead and update our balances. Cash, nothing happened there, so that's still $1,400. Our supplies now has a balance of $700 because we just bought that. Insurance remains the same at $1,600. Now our accounts payable has a balance of $700. Riverland Company, nothing has changed. Our capital, nothing has changed. But again, we still have to show what that balance is. Okay? So if you were to look at this, our assets still equal our liabilities plus owner's equity. It still evens out. So now let's look at transaction number four. Bought supplies on account, but this time from Riverland Company for $300. It sounds just like what we did in the last transaction. So bought supplies is an increase to supplies, and it says on account, so that's an increase in what we owe. 
So, and it's for the amount of 300. So we're going to show our supply is increasing by 300 uh, on the left side of the equation. And our accounts payable, just like we did in the last transaction, increasing on the right side of the equation, but this time for Riverland Company. Okay, so now we have to go ahead on the next line down, update our balances just to make sure that everything is still evened out. Cash is still 1400 nothing changed. Supplies, though, we had 700 Now we've got 300 more, so our supplies is increased to $1,000. Insurance remains the same at $1,600. Five-star supply remains the same at $700. But now our accounts payable for Rivaline Company, we now have a balance of $300. Capital remains the same at $3,000. Okay, we're just going to do one more transaction just to give you enough experience. So now we're looking at transaction number five. Tells us that we paid cash on account to five star supply for 700. Sounds to me like we're now gonna pay off our debts. We're gonna pay off what we owe, okay? So paying cash is a decrease to cash. We're paying it on account, so we're now gonna decrease our liability. So our cash is gonna go down. It tells us by 200 bucks. So our cash is decreasing. I'm sorry, by $700. Our cash is decreasing by $700. And then it says we're paying our cash on account to five-star supply. So let's decrease that amount also, $700. Looks like we pretty much just paid off our debt right there. So let's make sure that the equation is still evened out. So let's update our balances on the next line. So we had $1,400 of cash. We just subtracted $700 of that. So it looks like our cash accounts decreased to $700. Supply still is the same at a thousand. Insurance still the same at sixteen hundred. Five star supply nothing. Um, Riverland Company still at three hundred dollars, and our capital is now it still remains at three thousand dollars. So when you add up the left side and you add up the right side, it still has evened out. So our account equation is still even. I'm gonna let you continue on your own for transaction seven and transaction number eight. When you get to the very end. When you add up your balances, make sure that you add up everything on the left, add up everything on the right. Just double check. Just make sure that your accounting equation is still in balance. If it is in balance, it sounds like you did a great job. I'll see you tomorrow.